with someone recently, mm -hmm. um, and this topic is about a juice cleanse. Is it health or is it hype? Yeah. So we had a conversation recently with um, a young lady, and uh, and we'll leave it at that. And w she was trying to lose weight really fast. We won't say for what. No, we're just trying to lose weight really fast mm -hmm. in a really short amount of time. And um, so she decided to do a juice cleanse. Um, and so Teddy and I are not the type to just pass judgment and say, this is what you should do. And this is what, what, are you kidding me? Um, we just listened and, um, and I just asked her, okay, well, well how'd you feel? Oh, I felt really good. And then, um, but then she realized that, but when I tried to work out and, and it wasn't even strength training, it was just being on the treadmill that all of a sudden she became extremely lethargic and dizzy. Um, and then she uh, had to actually slow the treadmill down. And then she felt pretty shitty. Um, um, again, w wasn't eating any carbs. And that's, you know, a whole nother thing. And I hate to break it to you guys, but vegetables and fruit, they're a form of carbohydrate, if we wanna, if we wanna talk about that too. Um, and, you know, even days following that, to be able to maintain that quote unquote, lower body weight, and I'm just gonna say body weight. Um, she still wasn't eating any carbs, and uh, she was drinking alcohol, but she wasn't <laughs> eating any carbs, and um, just protein and maybe some vegetables, I don't know. But um, that whole thing scared me because just the fact that you were feeling dizzy and lethargic and ready to pass out and all you were doing was jogging on the treadmill, um, that, sh that throws up some major red flags to, to both of us because in no way, shape, or form should that ever be happening to you when you are on the journey of transformation, body transformation, weight loss, body fat loss. Um, things like that. Uh, so, do I do I feel like um, juicing, where you're using certain mixers like the Vitamixes uh, and things of that nature that actually blend the whole fruit and vegetable that you get the entirety of that piece of food um, in your system? Uh, I would agree with that because you're getting the whole food and all of the all of the great things that come with it. Um, but when you're just quote unquote juicing, where you're using a piece of machinery that is extracting the liquid from the solid, and you're missing out on all of the the fiber and the nutrients and the skin, the pulp and everything else, what actually makes up the fruit and vegetable or the piece of food, um, then no, I, um, I don't agree with that at all. I mean, if you wanted to, to do that as part of your daily routine, I don't think that there's anything wrong with that. The research doesn't show that there's anything wrong with that, but the research does not err and it does, it does not lean towards juice cleanses. When you jumpstart, quote unquote, jumpstart that weight loss of doing a juice cleanse where you're only taking in liquids, all you're doing is, and I've used this analogy before, taking that big bucket of water, throwing in that dry old sponge, letting that big bucket of water, um, or that, that dry old sponge soak up that, um, some of that water, and all you're doing is taking that sponge out of the water and squeezing the shit out of it. So you're gonna come, you're basically just squeezing all of the, the, that fluid, the glycogen that you store in the muscle tissue, which is actually your energy, um, which actually drives you through the day. It feeds your brain, it feeds your muscle, it feeds your body to move, especially during uh, training, both cardiovascular and strength training, mind you. Um, so you need that to in order to, uh, to thrive. Um, so when you're just doing these quote-unquote juice cleanses, 
and all you're doing is drinking liquid and the liquidy part of the fruit or vegetable, primarily the vegetable, all you're getting is the liquid and it's your might you're taking away all the good stuff all the 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 um the solid portion of that food um you'll get a nice spike in your blood sugar and then you crash um so the research does not does not show um that there's health benefits or quote unquote weight loss benefits successful long term weight loss benefits in juice cleanses um, so no, I, I don't agree with it. I didn't agree with um, what this young lady did. Uh, neither one of us did. Um, you you basically alter your um, your gut uh, microflora, so the, all the good bacteria in your gut. I mean, the research shows that too. Um, we need um, all that good bacteria in our gut. It helps to keep our brain healthy, right? The gut they say now is the second brain. And that's your immune system, guys. So when you have good bacteria in your gut, um, a high percentage of good bacteria in your gut, that's what keeps your immune system healthy and strong. Um, and we're going to get that from the, the whole portion of the fruits and vegetables that we're taking in. All that fiber, all those good nutrients, those vitamins and minerals, we, we actually need that, guys. Um, there's nothing wrong with eating, you know, the whole part of cabbage, the whole part of kale, like the, the actual kale bits, and not just juicing it. Um, I mean, it doesn't, we need protein. The majority of our body is made up of protein, so whether it's the soft tissue, the muscle tissue, uh, uh, the tendons, the ligaments, things like that, um, bone, Two guys that we actually need to eat protein to survive and to, to grow. Um, and our immune system is, is actually based on our protein intake. So those of you, especially the, the elderly population, um, even younger people, um, when most of the time your immune systems are already compromised, you need that. You need an adequate amount of protein to thrive. And you know, research does show we need to err on the higher end and that's even in youth, youth athletes, youth in general, and the elderly. 